It's a uh, God. It's so annoying. The first all hijab fashion show during New York Fashion Week, and everyone's just praising it like it's just so incredible. And basically, it's a, a, a design. Amazing. Amazing. I love it. Possible. It was just one of those runway shows. Yeah, some, a Muslim from Jakarta, and she received a standing ovation for this show, which is ridiculous. And she said it's important that we, we start that cultural shift in today's society to normalize the hijab in America. So, so that means push your culture upon us, right? Wow. And also, it's part of what they're calling the modesty movement. Okay, well, there's Christians and Mormons, alt-right girls I know who are, you talk about modesty, but they're put down. No designers designed for That's them. Traditional. That's <laughs> the, too traditional. That's too traditional. These Christians and Mormons, they're not allowed into the industry. No, not unless it's a hijab. And look, there's many white girls in the hijab. It's almost all white. I mean, that, white that's what it's really about. And of course, white women will just happily wear it because, oh, it's trendy. That's what we wear now, right? And I thought it was a symbol of oppression for feminists, but no, it's actually turning into a liberation, right, from over-sexualization by exactly. men. Exactly. Yeah, we talked about that with uh, Sadiq Khan. You know, the <laughs> lefties and the Muslims can start teaming up now. And yeah, you so have H&M, which is Swedish. Dazzled. Dazzled. I know. <laughs> H&M, which is Swedish, Dolce & Gabbana, you know, some Italian Dildo gay and couple. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they're they're like making all this stuff because all the rich Arabs, they like to go to these European designers to buy all their bling all the time, you know. And then this like designer, Arabs. Arabs. she says, oh, the hijab, it's not a symbol or a statement. It's just part of our identity, right? Well, part of my Western identity doesn't want to see this freaking hijab and all it represents walking around in my city, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. And then she goes on to say, we just want to design for ourselves what we like to wear. Well, and so do Europeans. But we're told that we must, you know, include everyone in what we do and our culture must have everyone in mind at all times. Can you imagine if, you know, a Swedish designer said, I just want to design for Nordic people? Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It'd be an outrage, in fact. It's ridiculous. So yeah, it is so in ridiculous. the end, it, it just appears that this uh, multi cult is, you know, European people having Islam shoved down their throat and it's mm -hmm. being used as a tool to. But, ruin you know, our countries. you can go in through the back door. That's what they're doing. It's a psychological operation going through the back door and convince women that it's actually what they do want, you know, because this over sexualization that we've had in the West now, it's we don't want that anymore. It's it's not good for feminists anyway. Right. So <laughs> cover up. Cover well, up, what lady. about all the religious uh, religious Westerners who have been saying the same thing? All of a sudden, they don't matter. Only when Islam says it, it matters, right? Well, it goes right in line with the uh, hijabi, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Hijab-wearing Barbie gets massive buzz on Instagram. Love that guy's voice. Following <laughs> last week's <laughs> revamp of who a Barbie doll could be, an Instagram account by a Nigerian Muslim woman, Hanifa Adam, is catching a lot of fashion buzz in doll world. Meet Hijarbi, the hijab-wearing Barbie doll that is sweeping oh, the digital brother. world and forcing people to reconsider what beauty for a doll might look like. Exactly. Hijarbi sports a modest look and is drawing people in with a more subtle take on fashion. From beige <laughs> hijabs to black hijabs and even throwing a flower in to lighten up her day, this, this doll is ridiculous. changing Europeans perceptions have had different one versions post at a time. For a After long time only eight now. weeks yes. in the public eye, the Hijarbi account has racked up more than 21,000 followers Pathetic. while pulling in plenty of requests for orders and racking up lots of love from Muslims and non Muslims alike. Wonderful. Way to represent. You go, girl. <laughs> you go, girl. Oh, God, that guy's an idiot. And then, and then there was well, you got everyone. If you haven't check out the video we did, uh, white girls, black dolls. We get into this whole doll episode. Anyway, germ. There was a German ad also pushing hijabs. That's right. Ich auch. Ist doch hübsch. Enjoy difference. Start tolerance. <laughs> What the heck is that? Enjoy uh, difference. UNESCO, become a Muslim. UNESCO, right? UNESCO. Dress like a, yeah, yeah, of course. Dress like everyone, but how a European woman should dress. How about you know? How about you embrace your Germanic folk costumes? <laughs> right? No, no, no. That's, I mean, that's racist. That's those are Nazi. those are modest, but yeah, exactly. It's just that they're refugees, right? They're coming into the country, so these girls are just happy to put it on, I guess. Well, listen, you know, these Nazis in Germany, they only have one direction to go, and that's full colonization. You know, that's that's. That's the only way that these people are going to repent. Uh, in fact, is or fact the fact is, uh, we actually had a it's an interesting story. A Syrian Orthodox 
priest who is in Austria right now. I guess he's fled to Austria. Uh, he did kind of a, I don't know, controversial interview where he said in 20 to 30 years, every sec or every other woman in Europe is going to wear a hijab. And I think he knows what he's talking about if we're looking at the current trends. Uh, I mean, this is this is where it's going. This is, uh, you know, uh, so he was considered, this is a guy who actually talked about it, um, Dionysus Isa Gibus or something. So he's a Christian out of Syria, and I guess he's fled. He would know uh, he's been living in that climate and condition where you have wars between Christians and uh, Muslims, you know, and that's what's coming to uh, to Europe, whether we like it or not. Isn't that wonderful?